everybody. So today I, oh my god, mind the mess, I'm sorry. Um, today I'm filming a empties video for you guys. I haven't filmed one of these in like forever, so I thought it'd be cool to film one for you guys since um, I needed to get back on track and I need to throw out all these empties. It's quite a few things, so let's jump right into it. So the first two things here I have are shampoo and conditioner. It is the L'Oreal Fibrology um, shampoo, which was actually pretty good. I didn't mind it. Um, I was sent this by Influencer. Um, I enjoyed it for the most part. I didn't find that my hair got significantly thicker. It did come with another um, product that you, it was sort of a step in between. Um, and I, I mean, I didn't notice a crazy difference in the thickness of my hair, but it, my hair was clean and my hair smelled really good. It smelled good, um, and all that jazz. So, I mean, I love it. For me, shampoo, I like to jump around. I don't really stay true. I might stay true to a certain brand for some time before my hair needs a change in shampoo. And then I like to jump around and try new things because that's what YouTubers do try new things. <laughs> Next thing is this perfume, which I've had forever. So there's still some in there, but I think it's time to go because it's kind of yellowed. And I mean, I've had this like, no joke, I must have been in like grade eight. Yeah, it's been sitting around for a while. Um, so it's time to go, but this, oh my God, like I've looked to purchase a new one. Um, I love this stuff. It smells so good. It's the Ralph Lauren Spritz Blitz. Um, it smells so good. Love it. I mean, it's a classic. So I had to add it when I was like going through my stuff because I have I had a box with a lot of old things, and when I was going through those things, I was like, oh look at this. So I thought I'd share that. All right. So next I have this guy here. This is the D Slick Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. This stuff, amazing, I love it. Just is perfect for setting your makeup. Right now I'm using the Makeup Forever. I ran up the stairs and I'm like dying. Well, I ran down and then I ran up, so I apologize. Um, right now I'm using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This stuff is the bomb, I love it. I mean, this stuff is great as well. <coughs> don't inhale it. Just don't. Um, <laughs> this stuff is just as bomb. Um, I loved it. It uh, doesn't have such a strong scent as the Makeup Forever one does. So if you're sensitive to the scents of things, I'd probably suggest going for this one. And I think this one's a little less expensive as well, if I'm not mistaken and it's good. I like the Urban Decay ones, and they're by Scandinavia, so it's good stuff. Next is this guy here. Um, it's the Perspirex Antiperspirant Roll-On, which is really neat. It's this little roll-on. Okay, so this stuff was really neat, um, this little guy here, and I actually, I don't know, I haven't looked for it in store, but I haven't really seen it. I got it from, um, uh, one of the companies that I've sort of worked with sent me it, so But it's really cool. You put it on at night and the next day There's no need to apply any deodorant and actually while I was using this that was the case I could put it on at night and then the next day I'd be completely fine with no deodorant. It was really cool. I liked it. I don't know what's in it But it's made in Denmark It's interesting um, then I finished these makeup wipes. They are the Annabelle non-oily eye makeup remover pads. <sighs> no complaints. They were just your regular uh, makeup removing pads and they did the job. So I was happy. <laughs> um, next. Okay, this. So this is like by far my favorite -est. My favorite thing in the world. My favorite -est. Um, This is the Moroccan oil treatment. For all hair types, I love this stuff. 
my hair cannot go a day without it it's just amazing every day when I get out of the shower I put this in my hair and it just works wonders for my hair um, I've tried other ones and nothing compares and it makes me so sad because of the price tag if you guys know something that's like seriously like a dupe for this let me know because that would be awesome. I have some mascaras here I'll talk about. This one, I was so sad to put it in this bag. It's like, no, <laughs> but it was about time. Uh, this is the Lancome Grand Bois Mascara. Lancome cannot do wrong in terms of mascara. I don't think they can do much wrong because I've heard really good things about their foundation. Haven't tried it, but I've heard good things. And their lip products are pretty awesome too, so I mean, they cannot do wrong. Um, but anyways, I really, really love their mascaras. And this mascara was just the bomb. Has a really interesting applicator which is what just usually makes it mascara. So that applicator just, you know, gave you the vavoom lashes that every girl wants. And I love this stuff. That's all I gotta say. Next, it was this Lorac Multiplex 3D Lash Mascara, which I wasn't a fan of. It was extremely dry. It was like really dry for me. It wasn't, I, I guess I like more of a wet consistency. Kinda, I don't know. And the brush just, it didn't apply the product like it should. I don't know, I wasn't a fan at all of this. And I like quite a few of Lorac's eyeshadows and lipsticks and things like that, but not so much for that. Um, this I was kind of disappointed in. These are the Lorac 3D Luster Drops and um, people went crazy over these. And so did I, like I really liked them. And um, I had them sitting with my makeup and everything and then I went to use them one day and the whole thing was like dried out. It's like, yeah, I was really disappointed. And it was closed and everything, like I don't know. It's kind of like merp merp. I was like, what can I do? Put some water in there and shake it up and it'll work still? I don't think so. <laughs> um, next is this Marcel Double Precision Liquid Eyeliner. Like, why are things drying up on me? But anyways, um, I use it quite a bit and it's really easy to make like a nice thick line because it has the thick side to it and then it also has the really thin side so nice for doing a cat line and it's sort of... Um, when you press it in, it sort of pushes down, so it pushes down product or whatever, if that makes sense. Next is this guy, and um, I'm yet to replace this. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. I say that a couple times. Um, this is like the first makeup product I ever like finished, finished, like completely. This stuff was just so amazing. I remember every time I put it under my eyes, I just looked like a million bucks. I really need to replace it. I guess the only reason I haven't replaced it yet is because I have so many things that I need to use. So I'm using those and then slowly, slowly I can replace things that I love. Is this Lorac blush, which I really love this. It was such a pretty color. I can't even see it. It was like the nicest. I don't know if you can see it in this corner here. It was like the nicest color, and I haven't found a blush that's sort of like it. Um, it's, let's see if I can swatch. Yeah, it's like this mauvey pink. You guys can see it, I have no idea. But it's so pretty. It's a Lorac blush in Soul. I just really love this. If anyone knows where I can get this in Canada, or something that's really similar to it, because it's so soft and so pretty and I really liked it. So I'd like to replace that with something. And yeah, that concludes my empties. I'm so glad I got to film this for you guys. 
I miss you all so so much. I hope you're happy that I'm back and posting some videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the down bar. Um, I like hearing from you guys. Make sure you're following me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Always posting, not so much on Twitter, but Instagram and Snapchat. I've been really keeping up to date and if you want to see my everyday life, go check out that. Um, and yeah, until next time, I will talk to you real soon. Love you guys. Bye.